Hey, just quite welcome back to episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode, we got this cool option here and basically what this is, is a ball pump option. And we see for the one that we got right here from this brand, and for this one particularly, they call it X8 Nano. So you can see the size of the packaging is actually pretty small, but let's open up and show you guys what the bot looks like. So let's take out the wrapper first. Once you guys do take out the wrapper, this is what the package looks like. But if you guys do open up, once you guys do open up, you can see how the inside is all well protected. But if you guys do take it out, first the inside they do probably guys a user manual to teach you guys how to set it up and how to use it. Next the inside, they do probably guys a little bag if you guys do open it. Inside the bag, they do give you guys the actual accessory that you can use for the ball pump option to pump up air into your ball, your football or anything else. And here we do have a USB to USB-C cable that you can use to charge the product. And here we do have the product. If you guys do take it out, and you see the bottom, we do have more stuff. So here we do have the extender cable for you guys to extend it to make it longer if you guys do need to. And then here we do have the product. So if you guys do take it out from the bag, once you guys do take it out, this is what the product looks like. So you see right here, they do have the brand name. Top part right here, you see we do have a few buttons. So there's a power button, a plus and minus for you guys to increase or lower it. And then here we do have like a reverse option that's probably for mode or something, which we'll find out in a second. Bottom part right here, you can see this is where you can plug it in, in terms of the cable or accessory to actually pump air into the ball. And then throughout the side right here, I believe like the LED light option, which we'll test out in a second. And when you guys do open the bottom part right here, that is basically where to plug in the cable to recharge it with the USB-C. But once you guys are done using it, it can close back up. So just like that. And for this part right here, it's probably like the display screen when you guys do turn it on. You can see like the measurement etc. on here. And when you guys do feel the materials on here, it definitely feels really nice. And right here, we do have this option for you to hang somewhere if you guys do need to. And you see in the back part right here, there's another component. If you guys do open it, and you see inside right there is basically a storage option for you guys to store your accessory. So those that they do probably get the same thing inside, but this one probably like a backup option. So once you guys are done, you can seal it back up and it's all set. So that is basically everything that's on the product. Now I'm actually plugging cable to show you guys how to charge it. So let's do plug it in. Once you guys do plug in the cable, let me see right here, it does show you guys that it's charging. So that is basically how you guys charge the product. Now let's turn it on to test it out. So let's do turn it on. It won't turn on when you guys are charging it. So I'm actually trying to unplug the cable and try again. So we just unplug the cable. If you guys try again, let me see it does turn on. So once you guys do turn it on, this is what the screen looks like. So it does show you guys the battery percentage and it show you guys the value that's on here. So the bottom one show you guys the real time value and the top one is the target value. So depending on where you guys do set it, it will show you guys on here. So like I mentioned for the product, it does have a light option. So if you guys want to turn it on, you basically want to press the mode button for two seconds. So just like that. So if you guys want to change the different light mode on here, you basically want to press on the button on top again. So that's another mode. If you guys press on again, that basically turns it off. And the cool thing about this product when you guys do use it, it does have very high precision to give you guys the perfect amount of air when you guys use it to pump air into your ball or whatever. If you guys want to change the different mode on here, you basically want to press the mode button one time. So you can see right here, this is what you guys see. If you guys press on the one time, It basically changes the mode on here in terms of what you guys want to use, whether it was like a regular ball, a football, or something else. And when you guys press the plus and minus, that basically allows you guys to increase or lower the actual target. You can see. And then mention when you guys use the product, it definitely inflates very fast, depending on what you guys use it on, obviously. But now let's put an accessory to show you guys what it looks like when you guys do use it. So for the first one right here, if you guys want to use this one, all you need to do is screw it on. Just like that, very easy and very simple. And once you guys are ready to use it, you basically want to press on this button. If you guys press on again, that basically turns it off. And you see when you guys do turn it on, it does show you guys the real time result right here. And definitely feel the air on the other side when you guys do feel it. So that is basically how you guys use the product with this accessory. If you guys want to use the other one, you guys basically want to untwist it to take it out and twist this one on just like that to use it like that or if you don't put this on top to extend it feel free to do so as well but same thing for this one when you guys turn it on it's the same thing but that is basically everything that's on the product now to go boxing and test the product now to answer question of whether or not it's worth it or not 
So for this part, I do have to say that it's pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these, especially if you guys in the market looking for a high quality portable ball inflator that's in use for your volleyball, your soccer ball, or any balls in general, then I do have to say that it's pretty worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or having one of these, that obviously don't buy one and save your money on something else actually you do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.